In this unit we're going to take a look at the use of the rotate tool. Now you can rotate both your model elements and your 2D annotation and detail items. For this example I've just got a piece of wall and a desk and we're going to take a look at rotating both of those now. So I'm going to start with the wall, select my wall element. Up on the modify panel here we will find the rotate tool. So select rotate. Now the things to note are the pivot point or the center of rotation which is the blue grip here I'm pointing to with my cursor. I'll now move that out of the way so you can see that, that blue dot. By default that center of rotation or that pivot point is placed at the center of the object you're rotating. Now the actual rotation is a two click operation a little like we saw with the move and the copy where we were setting up a displacement. We're doing the same with the rotate command but it's a, an angular displacement so it needs a start angle and an end angle. So I'm going to click here for the start angle. Now as I move my cursor around you can see it's almost like acting like a lever uh, pulling the object around. You can see the box uh, showing me where the object is going to rotate to. So I can do that by eye if I need to. I just click a second point and the object is rotated to that angle. Just going to do that again with this desk. Select the object, select rotate. There's my center of rotation, my pivot point. Click a start angle. I'm going to start to rotate that. Now rather than doing it by eye, I can if I need to actually just type an angle in there. So let's go with 43.5 degrees and hit the enter key on my keyboard and the object is immediately rotated to that specific angle. When using the rotate tool you can actually specify where the center of rotation is so you're not stuck with having the center of rotation or the pivot point stuck in the middle of the object that you're rotating. You can actually specify it to be somewhere else. I'm going to show you how to do that now. So let's rotate this desk again. So select the desk, select the rotate command. So we've just seen how the default location for the center of rotation or the pivot point is in the center of the object and there it is. Now we've got two choices. We can either just drag it. So if I move my cursor right on top of that blue pivot point, click and hold the left mouse button. I can now drag that somewhere else and it will snap to snap point. So let's put it on the corner of this wall and it will snap there can see how the blue circle or the grip has been relocated. So again, click my start angle. And now if I slowly move my cursor around and you notice the box down on the desk moving across, you can actually see, do it a little bit quicker now, that the pivot point is on the end of the wall. And click the second angle to place the desk. So if I click the desk again, hit rotate, we can drag that pivot point as we've just seen or on the options bar, you can see there's center of rotation, there's a place button. So hit place and now you can just snap to where you need it to be rather than drag it from its default position. So a slightly quicker method. So again, click a start point now do it by eye or put in an angle on your keyboard. So I'm going to type in five degrees, hit the enter key and the desk is rotated accordingly. When you're using the rotate tool, rather than picking up the object and rotating it and placing it down, you can actually leave the original item where it is and create a copy that's rotated. So I'll do that now as an example. So just for a change, let's rotate this wall instead. So select the element, select rotate. And first of all, I'm just going to move that pivot point and place that over there. Now, I'm also going to 
put on that copy box there. Let's put a little tick in there, create a copy, click a start point, click an end point, and you can see there in this example, it's left the original wall where it is and create a copy that is rotated rather than moving the original item. One of the real strengths of Revit is that it keeps certain categories of objects joined together. So for example, these two walls that meet at the corner, if I were to move one of those walls as you would expect and hope the other wall stays joined to it. However, there are times when you don't want them to remain joined. And when we're using the rotate command, let's say, for example, on this part of the wall, if I rotate there, as we've just seen, that corner will be maintained. But if we want to just rotate this element of wall and actually pull it away from the first one, we need to disallow or disjoin that corner. So with the element still selected, hit rotate and turn on that disjoin selection tick box on the options bar. Now I'm free to rotate that element and it becomes detached from the other wall. And that completes this unit. To get the most out of this training material, please take the complete course online at bimscape.com. Here you will find a complete learning management system that allows you to work through the course at your own pace. Comprehensive written tutorials provide additional information to that found in the training videos. Mark each unit as complete as you finish it and move on to the next. At any point you can return to any of the units you have previously completed to go over the material again. If you'd like to take this course online, please visit www.bimscape.com forward slash Revit for details.